Let's take a quick look at the Download Manager. When you go to download a file, you'll be presented with two options. One is the simple option. Pick the file format you want, hit download, and it goes to the folder that you've designated as your download folder in your browser. That's very simple. However, there's an option for the DL Manager. And when you're downloading multiple files and you want them to be organized, the DL Manager is way superior and it's easy to use. So don't be afraid of it. Let's take a quick look at how to use it. If I were to download right now, click it, it'll come up and ask you if you don't have the Download Manager already installed, you can download it right here. And it will download it and we'll go right to it. There it is. Installing it is as easy as dragging it into your Applications folder. Now once you've done that, you just click here and it, your browser may ask you if it's okay to always open up these. I'm always going to say always open up the DL Manager. And there it is, ready for the one file that I want to download. But it's way more advantageous when you're doing multiple. So I'm going to create a short little uh, test playlist and I'm going to grab multiple files from different sites. And I'm going to hit the download key, which you can also use D. Hit the download manager and now it automatically comes up. It's ready to go. There are six items to go. I can select what file format I want including Avid AAF. I'm going to select AIF files. You can select between 48 and I'm going to select 24-bit and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And there it goes and it's working in the background so you could continue going here and continue to search while it's working away. It's downloading as we're playing on the site. Once it's finished you'll see that the f the uh, folder is right here ready to go and when I open it up you'll notice it's already organized for you with the files by library ready to go so don't be afraid of using the DL manager it's really that simple